So during that disastrous first inning last night where the Phillies scored 10 runs on the Mets, 10 in the first inning, I was texting back and forth with our great buddy, the brilliant, brilliant comedian Jim Brewer. By the way, you can catch our boy Jimmy at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City. Big shows. Bernie Dillon so happy on Friday and Saturday night this weekend. And then, of course, he'll be at the Bergen PAC coming up on June 29th. Also, his live in Portland, number one, number one on iTunes in the comedy top five on Billboard Comedy. He is kicking ass. He's taken the world by storm. And he's our buddy, the great Jim Brewer. Good morning, Jimmy. How Jimbo. are you, pal? Bernie. What are you doing? How are you, pal? Okay. Yeah, I- good. What are you guys doing? Well, I um, I stopped texting you when the Phillies got to 10. <laughs> How was that to watch? 10! Uh, it was it was brutal, I'll tell you that. Well, you know what? Actually, it actually... Um, it actually uh, ended my night early, so it was good. So I, yeah. I, before I can even drop a deuce, I literally went in to drop a deuce. I'm usually clean. It's 30 seconds in and out. I came out. It was 8 nothing. I went, I'll turn on the Islanders. So, yeah. And you had a good night with the Islanders, too. And I had a good night. Yeah. Oh, my God. I was like, hey, Steven Matz, he's the best Mets pitcher this year. He's the one. Ain't nothing. Go to bed. I don't say, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe it was a hit. I hit, walked a guy, smashed the guy in the back, two-run homer, double, three-run homer. What? What's just, what just happened? You need money? You need cash? <laughs> was this game thrown? Wait, you need a contract extension? What just happened? Uh, the kid wow. had a bad night. Yeah, but, but you know, Bernie says he had a bad night. You know, I, I, I gave the stats out earlier, Jimmy. Vargas' ERA is about 15. Uh, Wheeler is about 8. Syndergaard is about yep. 6. DeGrom is about yep. 4. So this pitching yep. staff, the best in baseball, they've all stunk. All of them. This is what, this is what drives me nuts about baseball. Last year, you couldn't go and you couldn't go anywhere you can go to another country you couldn't go anywhere to buy a run the Mets were in in third world countries I got money can I get some runs is there any runs around here I got it yeah, yeah. Just give it to me give it they couldn't buy a run yeah. now they score six runs a game and the pitchers can't pitch this is baseball this is what this is what drives you nuts drives you but Jimbo, there's still Bro. second second place in the NL East. I mean, you may be despairing just a little too early, would you say? Maybe, perhaps. Hey, hey listen, what do we play? Fifteen games. I learned from the past. I don't. I don't get involved. To, I, I'm involved, but now I know I don't get hopped up until May because the last few years. And last year, I was already buying Mets World Series. Yeah, I know. I remember. After 15 games. Yep, yep. You and, you and, and the I, rest I, of us. I was, yeah, I was yapping with Yankee fans. You guys, you see our pitching stats? We're <laughs> plus one of 12 and 2. Stupid. It's true. Okay? So, and Judge is going to get pinched for steroids. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> and, you know, next year. Well, the good news is the Yankees stink too. They're seven and nine. We're ten and seven. They did win last night. So when you're on stage on Friday night on my birthday and Saturday night yeah. on Adolf Hitler's birthday at uh, the the Hard Rock Hotel, <laughs> will you will there be some Met talk in the Jim Brewer stand up? Um, there usually is. However, yeah, there'll probably be a little baseball talk because I'm also in Philly territory. Yes, you are. So, oh. Every, every time I play Atlantic City, there's Philly shirts, Yankee shirts, Mets shirts. Wow. And always, someone always shouts something, so I'll be well prepared for a little bit of baseball. But I don't like doing a lot of baseball because, you know, it's like listening to a foreign language if you have no clue what right, baseball means. So, right, right. But, yeah, I'll bust a little chops. I'll go there a little bit. It all depends. So when they, usually, like, they, they, will shout, they will shout, like, well, I saw Audio Line once down on Lincoln Road yeah. in Miami. And it was a true story, Bernie and Jim. The people sitting yeah. in the audience were throwing those little airplane vodka bottles, scotch bottles, 
a couple of like clear plastic bags. I swear to God, got thrown on the stage. Yeah. So when you're right. up there, how do the, the fans just scream baseball? Do they throw anything at you? What, what do they do? Well, I can, I can assure you there's nothing thrown. Now, <laughs> uh, Artie is a different act. That's yeah. like going to see, it's like going to see the band Slayer. No one's going to be... No one's going to be sitting in their seats reading the pamphlet say, oh, look, Brad Garrett's going to be here in May. And, oh, here's uh, Bernadette Peters is coming. If you're going to go see, if you're going to go see Artie yeah. Lang, you, you, you most likely did quite a pregame before you showed up. So my crowd knows. I, I got to – my crowd's not going to do that. And when they – I also shut them down pretty quick. If they – shout things it's never mean right they'll they'll usually say something and then i'll address them to make them look doofy and in a kind way in a roundabout manner it's me basically saying hey listen i know you're excited to be here but no i i got it tonight i think i i i got the plan <laughs> you'll get everything you want but You'll you'll get your lasagna and your and your cinnamon roll, whatever you get. I, you'll get it. Let me let me carry the show. Let me let me drive the ship, senior A fifteen in the seventh row. Got <laughs> you got it down to a science, no doubt. Jim Brewer, by the way, live in Portland. It's number one on iTunes in comedy. Number one Great. in iTunes and no, top five on Billboard comedy. Jim Brewer live in Portland. Check that out, Jim. You're an A list celebrity, no doubt. You're very, very rich. You got a lot of money, and uh, you have th- <laughs> you have three daughters. <laughs> you, uh, you, easy come, easy go, Sid. I don't know about you. Are you are you, are you, are you, are you, are you worried about getting uh, one of your daughters into a good college, like the, all these uh, rest of these celebrities uh, willing to bribe somebody? No, I tell my kids not to go to college. <laughs> this is, I'm not. I'm not even kidding you. Like what? If I had, if I had snot rocket cash, like the people that are that are getting caught doing this, why do they even need to go to? Co- You've got money for the next twenty centuries, so why don't you just start? Why don't you buy an island and start your own community? <laughs> why you, true, it's true. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I tell my kids, look. I didn't go to college. I went to college. I went there. I was present because my mama. Here's college to me is the biggest scam. One of the biggest scams. Agreed. It's not the night. It's not the 1950s where you go to school, you get a diploma, and you work in the same place for 40 years. That doesn't exist. Now it's go to college and uh, go in debt for two hundred thousand dollars, and then come out and be an intern for 10 years. That's what America is. So I'd rather give them fifty grand in a backpack and say, "Go figure things out." <laughs> that that's so, a good move. That is so. Yeah. That's a, a nugget of wisdom right there from Jim Brewer. Right, so check Jim Brewer out this Friday and Saturday at the Hard Rock, of course. Again, the Bergen PAC, June 29th, and his monthly show at the Paramount coming up April the 27th. As always, you're brilliant. You're hilarious. It's great for you to call in, Jimmy. We'll catch you on the beach this weekend, bro. We love you. Thank you. I'll see you on your birthday, Sid. Take care, guys. (laughs) You're the man, Jim, bro. Thank you.